Bow right back at you. What's up, everybody? Good to see you. Carolina Keith, regular Keith, Professor Keith, that idiot Keith. I can't stand Keith. Whatever you want to call me. Good to see you. Glad to have you back. Man, what a difference a week makes, huh? Just like that. Snap of a finger. Everything goes a little bit haywire, doesn't it? Well, guess what? Welcome to the real world. That's how it is. Nothing you can do about it. What better thing to do than jump into those charts and do it while you're here? Please go hit the like button. They're free. Likes cost nothing here, all right? Zero dollars for a like. It's very cheap and inexpensive to hit like. What happens when you hit like? It pushes us up the YouTube algorithm. More likes we get, the more YouTube shovels us around to everyone else so everyone else can see what we're doing, the more people we can help. And that's what I'm here to do, okay? I want to help as many people as I possibly can. So, wild week, huh? Didn't go the way people planned for it to go, did it, huh? I want to talk about different things tonight. Uh, I'm going to start with crypto like I normally do. However, I want to talk a little bit about you know, regular equities, metals, uh, the dollar index, et cetera, because, you know, really over the last couple of days, there's a big swing that's happened. Um, you know, a little bit of those things that we talk about happening, like uh, this always happens with this or that always happens with that. Well, you've had a bit of a layover here in that happening. And uh, honestly, because of that, things have changed people's perspectives a little bit. I'm kind of happy about that. I'm kind of not happy about that because I don't like it when things dramatically change. I prefer, I prefer things to stay on an even plane. Um, but there's nothing I can do about that, right? Nothing you can do about it. So roll with what you got. Take what you got and move on. Uh, I'm going to do things a touch different tonight too. Uh, you guys know. Crack open a mold in here. I'm sorry, a blue. There you go. <laughs> um, I'm going to do things a touch different. Um, I usually am in log mode. All right. You people know when you watch, I'm almost always exclusively in log mode down here. Yeah. Well, I'm in linear mode because I want to show you something. It kind of caught my eye and I like to, uh, see the whole field here and not miss anything. Cause I don't like missing stuff. And when I miss stuff, it weighs on me. You know what I mean? And I it gets stuck in my head and I can't let it go. Um, so I'm going to start with Bitcoin in linear mode here. Now, you see that in linear mode, we have clean touches down here at the bottom of the trend, clean touch here, clean here. And really, depending on where I draw this line, if I pull that back up to the bottom of these candles um, right through here, you know, rather than the bottom of those wicks, that trend line kind of lines up there. Important to understand this. One way of this is correct and one way isn't. Either way, we are right on the edge here of something good or bad happening. And I don't want to make a rash decision. That good candle that came in yesterday feels a little bit a little bit tricky to me, and I don't want to fall for it. Uh, we've had this happen multiple times in the last few weeks where you get a couple good green candles just followed by barrels of sale pressure. Good green candles, more sell pressure. Good green candle, more sell pressure. And here we are again, right? Another good green candle. All stuck under trend, all not going anywhere fast. And you saw a moment ago, I had the 821 EMA up there. You see it again there. 821 EMA is up there. Everything's under. You don't have even a beginning of a buy signal. You're really trying to catch a falling knife here. If you're trying to hurry up and get in here and buy this, there's nothing here that, moves me to really, really get me super excited. I like the fact this thing could have hit the trend line already, but there's no guarantee there, All right? If I put this in log mode, you'll see that we're, you know, a pretty good distance from the trend line still. Psych. <laughs> that, if you look at this look, this thing snuck back over the trend line and managed to jump back over and didn't fail. All right? I have a hard time buying this. Why? Because, man, it seems iffy at best to me. I don't want to do iffy. 
while I'm on this subject, let's look at total market cap because that's a whole nother ball game. Here's total market cap. Total market cap fell directly down to the 618 FIB and stopped right into the golden pocket and paused. It just hit the brakes right there. What to make of that? Well, this is the area that I want to see get hit more often than not. Now, depending on how we pull these fibs, we either have completely ran out of time on this fib set or we have a ton of time left and it's going to go all the way till July. Um, I'm not sure which on those. I lean more toward this thing has retraced a good chunk here and we may get a little bit more down, but not a ton more. We pushed through that $1 trillion mark, which was what I was looking for. Uh, it did push through that, and I was hoping it would happen. It happened, and it's done. That's good. Now, if you go back and watch some of the previous streams, you know, you'll kind of see where, um, how I kind of talked about I thought this level was going to happen. There's many, many streams before this uh, that you can kind of go fact check me on that. I'm not always right. I'm wrong sometimes, too. Uh, but the charts lead us in the direction of making good money, right, uh, or saving money. That's something I want to discuss too. I'm going to flip, but I wanted to show you total market real total market cap real quick before I get back to Bitcoin. So many people saved money this week. Uh, I jumped out and got back into stables before all this red came in. Um, was a little worried about the price action that I saw, how it was kind of hesitating to make a high. It was only forming lower lows and lower highs and lower lows and lower highs, which is just about everything you see right here, right? Lots of lower highs and lower lows. That's not bullish structure at all. Uh, this isn't bullish structure until we get a higher low and a higher high and a higher low and a higher high. We've got none of that yet. So I stabled up. And when I stabled up, a lot of other people did. Then all that red came in. And we saw, you know, minus 20, minus 15, minus 20%. I love seeing people. I love, I love seeing people save money. Um. I didn't hurry up and buy any of those, right? I kind of sat on the sideline and waited. I didn't want to get caught with my pants down. Um, but I'm hopeful that some of these things start rebounding soon. Let me get a drink real quick. Dry throat. Now, we talked about this 25,000 level, and that 25,000 level did get hit, which is cool. Uh, I, I'm, we're floating right above 25.5 right now. So this FIB represents the 50 FIB on a larger time frame. And uh, as you see, all through here was our support zone. We ran up here and hit resistance. Whenever you hit resistance and fail, you are bound to come back down. And it did. It came back down. And where did it come back down to, everybody? Support, which is excellent. It's exactly where I wanted to see it go. Now, what do we do from here? Do we buy this now? Do we wait it out? I think it's super sketchy to buy this just yet. Um, it didn't give me one of these insta-fast reactions like this bounce did. You know, when we had this bounce, this thing came down and hit the 200 moving average and bounced very rapidly. And I don't even have the 200 up there right now, but I'll show you. Uh, it's still got a ways to go to get to that heifer. We talked about this today in our free Discord training that we did. We have free Discord training all the time in our discord where have you been we have uh the link right here for you all right this is for our half off link our discord will be half off for a little bit longer then it's going to go to a different price so be prepared for that all right i don't want to hear any complaints i told you um get in while you can get in while you can for cheap the discord the discord classes are free in our general section and in our events section however every monday we do a live zoom or actually a voice chat for everyone every single Monday for all the subscribers to uh, talk about what's going to happen with the market. Also, whenever I start this Forex prop firm challenge the second time around, um, I'm probably going to do a lot of voice chats with those because I've hammered out a pretty cool looking strategy. Um, and I want everyone to be a part of that, right? And you don't have to, but it's going to be mean and I'm going to get up at eight or I'm not going to get up at 8, I'll be up before 8, but I'm going to be in here locked in, ready to rock at 8 a.m. every morning. Um, I'm going to try to trade that session, that London, that New York Open, every single day, um, excluding massive news days. I really don't want to be involved in massive news days. Um, 
but I try to trade that New York session with the New York. I try to trade the uh, with New York assets, you know, top top American assets. I'm going to try to trade European assets like the euro and the Great British Pound on the London session, which is later. And I want to try to trade the Asian currencies like the Japanese uh, Japanese yen and the Chinese yuan. I want to try to trade those on the Asian session, which starts about 7 p.m. Um, hammered these strategies out pretty hard. I've been back testing a lot, and I've been kind of quiet on the Discord because of that. But I'm concentrating, right? I got music playing, and I'm fucking locked in, I'm trying to get it going. Um, that's probably going to start soon. I haven't even made an announcement about that yet, but I kind of wanted to wait until I got back away from that because I wanted to start with kind of like a clean slate, clean mind, if that makes sense. Um, didn't want to go to Hawaii with the with a jumbled brain. That's kind of my last nice vacation, right? Um, honestly speaking, can't keep affording to take these expensive vacations forever. So whenever you get a chance to take the vacation like this, you take it and you enjoy it and remember it forever. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do, right? Try not to get in my own head. I haven't said hello to everyone, so give me a second. By the way, 42 people on. Y'all go hit like. Please go hit like. The more people we get liked, the more followers we get, the more people we help. All right. Uh, I want to get back to when we had 100 plus people on these streams every time. OK, we haven't had that in quite a while. And that requires you guys spreading the good word. I can only do so much. I can only do my stuff, put out the content. If people don't watch it, then no one sees it. Um, also, I've got the, the comments behind the camera. How cool is that? So. Uh, Win Mullet. What's up, brother? Good to see you all down here from here. That's my guy, Win Mullet. Um, what's up, Jeremy? Good to see you, bro. What's up, Electric motherfucking Ken? Good to see you, Ken. Hope everything's going well with the fam at the house. All right. Ariana, good to see you, ma'am. How are you? Quigs the Vicious. What's up, Quigs? Joe D, Dynamis, Manolo, Lunatic Prophet. Good to see you. What's up, Bo? Sife, Ryan Sife. Colo Colo, what's good? Dreamer, how are you? Jack, Paul, okay. Keith don't want to go anywhere fast, but can we take a look at Eve? I've been away for a few. Absolutely, we can. Uh, Jared Sosa, good to see you, brother. Toast to the blues. Uh, <laughs> Anonymity, good to see you. Jerry Munro, what's up? Uh, Peter Navarro, what's up, Pete? Good to see you, brother. I like it when the old heads get on here, man. And by old heads, I mean, y'all been around for a while. I remember. Um, Beast Mode Focus, what's up? King of Light. Hope everything's good over there in the MMA world. Miss you guys on the Zoom. Can't wait to get you guys back on. It's awesome to have the whole fam on there together. Um, who else we got? Beast Mode Focus says no racism. <laughs> oh man, let's go. All right, so uh, uh, yeah, Denama said, "Is that all forex, Keith?" Well, interesting. I'm gonna do gold. But I've also been checking the data on Bitcoin for the same thing. I'm not exactly sold on that being the New York session yet. That's the problem. There's these layover periods in there. And sometimes Bitcoin moves in those layover periods. I'm a little sketched out on that. So I'm not sure it's going to work for the gold and silver strategy. Because gold and silver are both pretty solid on this strategy. I've tested them both pretty hard. Also checked uh, UCAD, which is US, excuse me, USD, Canadian dollar, uh, Great British pound, USD, which is cable, uh, and USD GPP. I'm sorry, not USD. I'm sorry, uh, GBP, JPY, which is Great British pound versus the Japanese yen. Uh, and those sessions trade really smoothly and efficiently in those in those pairs. Plus, the slippage is very low on those pairs. So I want to take advantage of that if I can. Um, all right, so back to Bitcoin. I'm sorry. We're getting a little bit of upward pressure right now. I do expect this thing to kind of test 26,000 one more again. Uh, and if it can break 26,000, great. Get back over that AEMA and prove it. Um, no such luck just yet, right? 26,000 is where S1 is. You did bounce off of S2, but now you're stuck under S1 pivots. See the pivot points right here. Stuck under both of them. You're going nowhere fast. That's enough for Bitcoin. That's how I think it's going to go. We're going to see over the next couple of weeks. Ethereum. And with the hard E in the front makes it more important, right? All right. Look what came down to the daily 200 moving average. Ethereum. Now, this makes me 
want to buy it. Why? Man, that thing's sitting right on, right on the 200 moving average. Usually, things don't break the 200 moving average quickly. As you see here, it bounced last time and took off. <sighs> the reservation. It appears to have failed this trend line. Yeah? I don't like that. I don't like it failing that trend line. Could just go dead sideways. Could get hung up on the 200 and play a little ping pong and then roll over and quit. Is it worth taking a chance on? Well, it's a good question. Depending on how we pull these fibs here, I'll change these because I pulled these from all the way at the bottom to all the way up top. And you see it's kind of sitting on 382 as well. And a 382 is a bullish retrace. You will get those in a bull maneuver. Um, so let's pull it from the local low to the local high here. And we'll drag it over to the side. We got plenty of good room there. All right. Now on this angle, she bounced cleanly off of 618. Again, kind of makes me want to take a chance. The only thing I'm worried about here is how we broke structure. And I don't like breaking structure like that and then trying to chase the dragon on the way back down. Not great. So on that point, let's go look at CME real quick. The Ethereum CME chart. All right. So similar, similar problem here. You had the trend line up. You've broken structure on the trend line here. And now that you've broken structure on the trend line, even though you come down to the golden pocket, which is exactly where it came down to, it gives me the creeps a little bit. Is this thing actually going to reclaim and go back all the way? Or is it just going to come up and give me a 50 retrace and then fail and roll over? And where would a 50 retrace be from? Um, let's grab this local high and go down to this local low. So a 50 retrace would get us right back up to about 1776. America. Totally worth it. That'll get us up to about 1776 or 1800, uh, where we would probably roll over and fall. Now, is it possible that we reclaim this trend line and go right back up? Yes, it is totally possible. And I'm here for that. It's also a slim possibility that happens, especially the way it looks right now. I don't necessarily fall for this wick. I watched this candle close down here and then this wick formed afterwards. I don't buy that shit. All right. Um, here's Bitcoin CME while I'm at it. Same problem, structure break. And if I put this in linear, same thing. Doesn't matter. It's all broken structure. It's all failed. Doesn't matter. Um, you know, this looks like 24.5 to 24 at least. Somewhere down in here in this green box, which is starting to get close to. It's starting to dig into resistance a little bit here. I'm sorry, support. You see you have support back here and here. So I do kind of expect this to hold up some, but it needs to dig in a little bit. You're just starting to push into the wicks right now. Let's dig down here into the candles if possible. All this changes. All this changes bearishness changes if i get an 821 break north i'll change my tune absolutely okay just haven't gotten that yet i need to see that break first happen and then once i see that break happen man we can get the ball rolling on coming up with different plans okay hasn't happened yet though okay uh, i need to see that first once that happens well then that changes everything okay um all right uh, some of you guys are asking um for assets and we will look at those let me write them down here as always everybody you can jump over here in the chat right there you see the chat box feel free to uh, put a asset that you'd like me to look over and we will look at the chart for that I'll look at them and I'll write them all down I always write them down go over them one by one I try to get to all of them every time um, and we'll go through them one by one cryptos crypto Joe 77 what's up brother good to see you uh, I got natural gas wrote down for you beast mode focus um, can we check out cause? Yes, we can. The uh, Twitter shields came back out for that one, didn't they? Can we take a look at OSTK? Absolutely, Peter Navarro. IWM. Got you. Uh, FTM. Got you, Tom Pazderka. Good to see you, brother. Love having the old heads on here, man. I love it when the old guys show up. And I say old, I mean... Not age-wise. You've been around for a while-wise. You guys put the good word out. Send this shit out on Twitter and tag me, and I will retweet every single one of them that I see, okay? 
You can put it on Facebook. You can put it on Instagram. <sighs> I don't have a TikTok, but I should probably download it because there's so many people on there. I'm just stubborn old dude. I don't want to do it. Try us. Got you. Look at that one. Dag. Oh, God. You want to look at Dag? Dags? You like Dags? But yeah, we'll look at that. Um, Naka, Nexa, Bob out. Naka. Nexa. Bob. And out. A L P H. I wrote that wrong, sorry. Uh King of Light says it's a stock. Which one I missed? Which stock? Which stock were you talking about, King of Light? I missed it, bro. Oh, AI. I'm sorry, my fault. I, I didn't. I I misread that. I uh, appreciate the look on Ethan. Of course, Paula. Quant. Got you. I can do quant. All right. So before we do that, let's have a look at gold. Okay. I wanted to talk about some precious metals here. Um, every Monday, right? We do our weekly roundup. It's 30 minutes. First thing Monday morning, and we kind of go over the market and see what we're going to see. Gold's been a little bit of a surprise. It's one of them that we talked about. Uh, I saw this thing fail trend. And when this thing failed trend, I thought, uh-oh, that's gnarly looking. All right. I will admit that it still doesn't look the best. Um, but it is sitting on the 50 fib, and it did bounce off of that 50 fib and throw a monster hammer candle here. So it's got a bit of a doji at the top right now. That red candle you see right there at the top is a bit of a doji right now. Yeah, it is. We've seen commodities go wild over the last two weeks. Meanwhile, gold's kind of fallen back. So you're seeing a bit of a shift from gold into other risk assets after gold hit 2,000 an ounce. See right there, 2,000 an ounce. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So what's going to happen from here? Well, depending on whether I'm in log or linear, you can argue that we have or have not broken trend line. And I'll pull it back down there. It still looks broken to me. Like I, it looks like a bearish retest if I've ever seen it. So I'm still expecting more down here for uh, for gold. I don't I don't think uh, the up will be extremely significant. But if it wants to go up, that's cool. I need to see it break structure first. It hasn't done that. Uh, I'm happy to say I'm wrong and happy to say, oh, that broke structure. But you can clearly see right there that thing's in a downtrend. Yeah, I need to see a higher high and a higher low, and then we can rock and roll. Okay, plenty of money to be made on the back end. Um, now. Uh, we, I'd, I'd like to see a breakout. You guys ask me all the time, what am I looking for most of the time? Um, I'd like to see a breakout or a big support test to buy. And I'd like to see a breakout and a big resistance line get hit to short. All right, it's the same thing either way. It doesn't matter. Um, I have done a few futures trades in the last couple of days. All winners. Pretty tickled about that. I shared that picture uh, over in the Discord for everybody to see. Um, I only took three or four trades last few days and, uh, they've all been winners, which is pretty good. Uh, and that's that new strategy I'm kind of trying to test. Yeah. Uh, I haven't pushed it real far yet. When I hit Forex and I start going, bro, I got my, I'm going to pump the leverage up real high. I'm going to turn the music up. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to lock in y'all. You guys can either watch me or just say nothing. I don't care, but I'm going to be locked in. All right. And we can text and talk and you guys can hear how I do things and hear me talking to myself. I don't care. Um, but I want to show you guys how I do it, right? I want to show you guys how to become a pro trader and how to make a living out of it because I think everyone can do it if we put our minds to it. Now, not everyone's going to want to, but I think you can. Um, all right. That's my gold look. Let's look at silver real fast. All right. So silver has it a little worse than gold. It didn't have that big run like gold had. Kind of got chopped out by this trend line. As you see here, it did a little bit of a breakout. Immediately jump back under. <laughs> and when you see a false breakout like that, that tends to mean more down on the back end. Still got some inefficiencies to fill right here that have not been filled. I do expect this to roll back over a little bit and come back down and tap this trend line one good time. Uh, once it taps the trend line, we could talk about silver doing some more. I kind of see silver leading gold here. Leading gold here. Um, not a guarantee, but it's kind of what I see. All right, let's get into some of the ones you guys ask about. Let's do natural gas. I know Alvin's going to ask about this. Um, <laughs> as soon as we get on the Zoom, he's going to start asking about it. 
So, uh, uh, yeah, we're right back in that same position where we were a couple of days ago where I said, oh, man, i like to see this thing have that breakout, but it hadn't did it yet. It kept fading like it was going to, but this rounded bottom pattern's coming in. I do think it's going to run over there and tag this trend line at some point. Um, might take a bit. Yeah, might take a bit. But I do think this trend line's going to get hit at some point. Uh, where it? Well, let's pull a fib and see if we can find that. Natural gas is taking a beating, hasn't it? You guys maybe not have known that, but you know, in the in the when I was in the HVAC industry, you know, we kind of already knew that everything had started to move toward natural gas because of the cost savings. Um, you know, kind of moved away from propane and moved away from electric because electric prices are getting high, and that's gone because of the demand with electric cars and new charging stations and new charging types, trying to move away from coal, that kind of thing. A lot of that just went toward electric and uh, there wasn't a lot of support there for that. So natural gas has been around for a really long time. You know, that gets a bad name because of fracking and all that other bullshit. Um, but natural gas is fairly affordable. Uh, and we had a lot of natural gas appliances, a lot of natural gas equipment. Uh, it worked great. And it still works to this day. I mean, it's really efficient. It makes great heat. Not not as good as oil heat, but pretty good heat. And honestly, not as good as coal heat. Nothing heats like coal. Coal is a very unique mineral. You know what I mean? It burns at a low temperature for a long time, which is awesome. Uh, and not many things do that. All right. So that was natural gas. I do think we sweep back up here if we get moving up here and can break 256 which is something that's tickled with a few times, but hasn't broken. Then we're going to get back up here towards three dollars. I think three dollars is a solid target. I think it'll probably tag the trend line around in there somewhere. If it breaks higher, that's great. But I need to see a breakout first. Structure just quite hasn't broken yet. I need to see that resistance break. All right, CRV had a great day yesterday. Uh, it, you know, pulled back really fast. This thing ran through the 50 field like it wasn't even there. Usually a sign that wants to go farther. And it did. It went straight down to the golden pocket and has kind of hit a pause button here. It erased almost all the gains, all the gains that it made at the end of 22 going into 2023. You're going to see this theme all throughout altcoins where they got absolutely blasted by that sell pressure, didn't they? You guys found out real quick it was an alt season and it ain't going to be alt season until the middle of the bull market. So you may get a few alts that catch a little heat here. For the most part, it's going to get skunked. You're going to get skunked everywhere. Um, we're in the golden pocket right now, yeah? Golden pocket all through here. Let me draw out uh, a segment for you. I need to see this structure break, just like I said on the other one. I haven't seen it. One candle is not enough. Uh, I think it's probably going to jog a little bit into the weekend. If we get that breakout on Sunday and want to move back up, that's excellent. Uh, the first level to break of importance to me is 63 cents. You break 63, that opens up back to 72 and 83, but first we have to get through 63. Um, we know CRV likes the 786 level, so watch out. It may go back to 786 again, which is all the way down here at 51 cents, and that would also, as a matter of fact, sweep these lows, right? You guys don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the low and the high of range, and our low and high range for 2023 well, you could count this week if you'd like. That's November, but I'm going to do 2023, right? So the first one is January right through there. Right there. That's the low. All right. And here is the high. That's our yearly low and our yearly high. That is our zone of importance. Back and forth, it's probably going to go. All right. Uh, we haven't swept this low yet. We came close. Let's get down here and dig in and test it. If it does and can hold on to this level, excellent. As soon as you get that, as soon as you get a buy signal there, or as soon as you see that sell volume fall away and the buy volume start to come in, you see indicators start to roll flat and gain gain their momentum back from losing, and you'll probably see a break back north. You'll see this mid level right here have a hard time. You can see that's kind of in the middle there. Yeah. That mid-level is probably going to have a hard time. That's right around the 50 fib. And then that top range won't break easy. It will break eventually, but not yet. Um, you want to take a chance on CRV? I don't hate it. I'm not going to. I don't trust alts right now. 
And if I do get back in, it'll be heavy Bitcoin and Ethereum. It won't be much else. Just don't trust them, dude. It's so sketch right now. I, I've have played this game before and gotten roasted, right? I don't want to do that again. Uh, all right. Kaz Caspa made an excellent parabolic run up. When that parabola broke, it immediately started diving right. When it dove right and lost its big uptrend, now it's breached this recent downtrend. That's awesome. Big uptrend line may get a retest here. Let's get rid of this. That's over. Let's get rid of this. That's over. This big uptrend kind of failed, but I'm going to leave it there for the example. Now let's pull the fib on this joker. All right. It looks like that goes all the way to August. And it looks like we are bouncing dead ass on that 50 fib right now. If it can hold 0.019, a risk could be taken there. If it hits 0.019, it can hang on. Not a horrible idea to take a risk because that's this range right through here. All right, from the 50 fib to the 382, makes sense? If it can hang on to that range, great. Worth taking a chance and see if it breaks north. It starts to fail this 382 line, which is the which is the short-term support here. You can kind of see a candle right here. That's short-term support. If it can't hold that and starts to fail that, well, she's going to roll down more. Uh, and then that, that'd be a good way to know it's time to get out and stop. You're probably going to lose on that one. But of many, this one looks pretty good, doesn't it, in comparison to most. Now, I just said that, but be careful. Like, there you go, 0.19. I didn't realize that, but that 50 MA, is right about there too. Back testing that 50 where this 8 and 50 uh, EMA and MA are about to cross. Um, yeah, that'd be a decent spot to take a chance if you wanted. Uh, and you may get some gains out of that. Please, everyone, set a stop loss and trade responsibly. OSK, or sorry, OSTK. Overstock. My bad. You should just said overstock. I knew that. But I think sometimes and then uh, lose my own brain. Look at here. We've jumped over the 200 moving average. Well, this is an excellent look right here. Uh, it's overstock. They're not going out of business or anything, are they? Look at the humongous sell pressure this thing has had on it. It has bullish divergence. Pushed up against the 50 weekly right now. This may take a little bit to break loose. I don't hate it sitting on top of the 200 like this. Uh, if you're not, how, many, how much to the downside is that? Ah, it's a lot of downside, though. That's a lot of downside, though. I'd have to set my stop under the 50, which would be 1940. Gosh, I'd have to set it at 1925 to set my stop. That's a big stop. Um, I do like that it jumped over the 200, though. That's awesome. Uh, it's stuck under the weekly 50. That's got some work to do. Uh, if it can get back over that weekly 50, you may have some room to run here because this thing took a beating. It took an absolute beating. Uh, t so much sell pressure. So much sell pressure. A little bit more work to do here, okay? Uh, and the 50 fib is up here near $43. I'm sorry. The 50 fib and the weekly 200 is up here near $43. That would be my target if it does break loose. About $43. Bucks. Uh, it's a very good looking chart, honestly, as compared to most. And I say very good looking, I mean as in potential gains, not, oh my God, that's a beautiful, beautiful chart. No, it's... Uh, it's got a lot of potential. That's what I mean. Bad in the sense that it's way down. IWM. IWM. Oh, Russell. All right. I don't usually do the IWM ticker. I usually just do Russ 100, but I get it. All right. So you got a bullish structure here. Higher highs and higher lows. They're taking a while. It's a weekly play, but you did crack the trend line. That's good. You did break the downtrend. That's good. And you have started to crack north. I like all of that. See that there? You are at the golden pocket right now, though. I need to see that improve a bit. I don't like it being stuck underneath uh, the, the golden pocket. There's a chance that backfires on us. I don't want that to happen. You do have a gap here down to about 175 also. That'd be a long way down. That's... That's a good bit down. Uh, it had a great day yesterday, even after that red. But I bet you we see this thing fight here for a bit and uh, play ping pong. 
Uh, I think 192 is probably the short-term cap here. Um, 190 actually is probably the short-term cap. And a rollback would bring us back to around 180, where I would probably take another chance if I was a gambling man. By the way, nothing I do is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a dude on the internet who spends way too much time charting. I'm a pro trader, but I trade my own money, not anyone else's. All right. If you don't want to lose money, don't get into crypto because you will lose some at some point. All right. That's just how it goes. Don't ever invest a single dollar more than you don't expect to lose, and you won't have your feelings hurt. If you put in more than that, you're going to get emotional and you're going to get beat. And don't do that. All right. You're going to do it anyway, but don't do that. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, beast mode focus. Watching a pro work in live trading is priceless. Bah, you can do it too, dude. Jesse Bryant. Bro, Jesse. Your dad's probably not watching, but tell your dad. He's going to get pissed. But tell your dad, have a Bud Light for me. <laughs> Good to see you, Jesse. By the way, you should probably be in bed. It's 1130, bro. Uh, and on him, and he says, ouch, Wojak. I got you, Wojak. Uh, I don't know this for sure, but is that a scam? Um, I'm going to do FTM next. FTM took a beating sale-wise. It just got pummeled on sales here. Pushed right through most things and just had a rough time getting back. Um, it's in a bit of a fallen wedge. I'd love to see a breakout here. I would not. For me, take a chance on this till I see a breakout. It's not worth trying to catch the fallen knife on this. FTM had a hell of a ride, but boy, did the lights get turned out and the party slow up real fast. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, Travis is watching. Well, bro, me and Shane Gillis are bringing Bud Light back. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. I ain't going to be moved on this. All right? I ain't going to be moved on this. Call me gay. I don't care. I'm comfortable in my sexuality. I've got a hot woman and kids. I don't care, bro. All right. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't touch FTM with a 10-foot pole just yet. I need to see a breakout. Uh, that one's easy. Try S. I really don't have much faith in anything but Bitcoin and Ethereum at this point, and I need to see a lot more than what they've given. Um, all right. Yeah, Try S. Look at the stair step price action that it had. That's pretty darn interesting, isn't it? You had this stair step walking up here. You've recently had another bit of a rollback. Now, I will warn you here. Uh, hang on, I can't read that. I'm on the middle of the live stream. Hang on. Got a text message I got to read. Sorry. Oh, no worries. And I also had to completely redo the office in here because she had a test to take and it trashed the place and I haven't touched it again. Just stuff in the background and stuff over here. It's annoying me. We didn't break these highs this time. See this? That high didn't break. I wanted to see that high break. Last time you broke the high. See that? Made a new one. This time you didn't. It's flat. Uh, so, until this breaks this high, a little bit spooky. You could take a chance at uh, stabbing at 50 fib or 786 here, probably actually more around $3. That would be worth taking a stab if it hit 3 bucks. Uh, I would take a chance. Um, but that's taking a chance on buying a higher low without a higher high. So you're half in, half out on falling on the, I'm jumping on the knife right there. Uh, and I don't like to jump on knives. I like to get my money and get the hell out. Um, they said, Jesse said, I'm out of school, so I'm good. <laughs> that's all right. And KJ was up a little bit earlier. I don't know if you play the show, but that's what KJ plays. He plays the show. Um, he don't like Madden too much anymore. He plays it, but he's got super into baseball. Went way down the rabbit hole on baseball. Uh, you might get him on there. Uh, he plays FIFA every once in a while, but mostly baseball. Huge Braves fan. I got to get down to Atlanta for a game. Um, he says, I'm, I'm watching drinking Bush. And then he said, I'll drink Bud on Wednesday nights when they're on sale. Bro, I got these for like 16 bucks a case at Sam's Club. Like Miller Lite was like $24 or something. Wasn't paying that. Not when I can get it on sale. Let's go look at Dag. Everybody hates, loves Dag. <laughs> Stealing a bit of a fallen wedge here. Uh, it's gotten ever so close to my two and a half cent level. Interestingly enough, there was this. Let's check this out. 
It was this ridiculous post on Twitter the other day where somebody's like, DAG will be $2 by November. Say what? $2 by November? You've lost your mind. So, Dagnum says, I'll give away $250,000 if it actually happens. I'm sorry, 250000 DAG tokens. I was like, you know what? I'll do the same thing. <laughs> if it happens, I will gladly do this. I think the pot is up to a million and a half dollars now. So, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll see. Uh, I highly doubt. I highly doubt that's going to happen. Uh, for whatever reason, people just get on these unrealistic trips and they just lose their good brain. And I'm not going to do that. So, uh, anyway, Fallen Wedge uh, is falling towards support. Uh, it's likely going to push into these support uh, support candles back here. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit more time. Again, I get a breakout here. Excellent. Just give me a breakout and show me something. Come on over here and break out and prove it. I'm here for it. Okay? I don't, I'll don't. i buy some. But it hasn't happened yet. Okay? Prove it to me and we can do it. Just not good enough. Naka. Nakamoto Games. Remember this one? I forgot about it. Thank you for reminding me whoever brought it up. All right. It was an extremely aggressive bull move up. She's gone dead sideways into consolidation, stuck in range here. Uh, again, kind of like Trias. It hasn't broken that high. It's kind of making a lower high. So it's a little bit tricky here uh, to fall for this one because it's had some recent up. I really want to see a structure break again. If you don't have a breakout yet, I'll be very careful and leery of this one because you're probably going to get a little bit more down before you get up. If you do get up, great. That's the place to play it. Buy the breakout and ride it up to resistance. It's going to have a hard time making this breaking this high, though, because it had a really, really stout run up really quickly. Naka. All right. I'm oh, sorry, Naka. I meant, uh, Nexa. Yeah, what's what's going to be wild is doing the uh, is doing the uh, you know live forex trading at eight in the morning because I got to tell you guys I'm not a morning person, <laughs> not even close. I'm a night owl. I have a hard time sleeping. So what I'm gonna have to start doing is regulating my sleep better, which means not staying up till three in the morning talking to you fuckers every night. <laughs> so that's gonna be hard on me. Um, but I need to do it. I need to do it because that. that I mean, I've seen the data, and I have to own it. I have to own that the data says that New York session is the best time. I just have to do it. Um, this is a falling knife and a half on Nexa here. Uh, I can't do anything with this. It is over the AEMA, but I need I need prove it here. Do something more. This is not good enough for me yet. Um, if it can, the important line to break is a whole bunch of zeros, 8508. 8508. Get over that, and you've broken structure. Hadn't broken structure yet, though. It's very, very bearish. Uh, less bearish than it was a couple days ago, but still very bearish. No bueno. Need to see more. That red line needs to break and hold. Bob. Never heard of this. It sounds like a scam, but hey. Damn it, is on there. Bob. Son of a bitch. Look at that. <laughs> All right. So uh, I don't know if... Uh, what do I say? I mean, maybe you found a bottom here. Yeah. Maybe you found the bottom. But I have very limited data to go off of here. How about we go down to four hour? It's just riding the floor. I mean, I have a bit of a structure here. All right. You got a, you got a wedge here. Let's see it break this wedge. We can talk. This is on a four hour because I have low data. Um, limited data. This thing breaks this four hour wedge here uh we could see a move up and we don't have hardly any resistance at all uh this is clearly a shitter uh so i wouldn't pick a big risk on it even when you do be careful this thing could absolutely fall through the floorboards i don't want to see that happen on you. all right a alfium alfium bro do your kids remember alf <laughs> look I showed some like highlights of Alf to the boys. Ha. Ha. They couldn't have been more disinterested. And I was so upset. And honestly, dude, we watched the mask the other day, the Jim Carrey, the mask. 
completely uninterested. I was so pissed. I'm like, it's the mask, bro. You should be interested. It's the mask. Nope. They didn't care. It sucked, man. It sucked. Hurt my feelings. <laughs> All right. So Alf has actually come down to the 50 fib and held it rather well. Uh, it's tried to break structure. Didn't quite do it yet. It needs to make a higher high. It made a higher low, but didn't make a higher high yet. There's that higher low, but I need a higher high. Consequently, that would break through this 200 moving average. So this needs to jump. This needs to jump the 200, and you're about to get a death cross, by the way. This needs to jump that 200 moving average to get in a more premium spot for me. Uh, right now, it's in a non-premium spot. All right, King of Light, I got you on AI here, bro. It's sweating in here, dude. I need to turn the fan on, bro. All right. Let's see. So, very bearish on this end. And then it broke north. All right. So we had a higher high and a lower ho, higher low. I said a ho or ho. <laughs> now we have a bit of a higher high, good higher high. Let's pull a fib on this and see how far. Man, that's a beautiful structure, honestly. Yeah, I think this has got more up. This sounds crazy, but I think it may have more up in the tank here. Not immediately, but I do like 58 to 65. Um, 58 to 60, 58 to 60. How about that? Uh, before we hit a, uh, a hit of a, a bit of a nose grind here. That's uh, tight, but yeah, I think it could do it. Um, yeah, it's six one eight, all the way up there around 60 bucks. It just seems like the smarter play to run that higher time frame there. I've seen a lot of equities grow really, really rapidly here while crypto kind of floundered, uh, which was neat but bad at the same time because I didn't want to see people get stuck in their crypto and not be able to make any money, and that kind of is what happened. Um, I was doing Forex so and taking futures trades, so that was cool. Um, but a lot of people just got stuck in crypto and didn't do anything. Uh, quant, weekly chart, 50 fib. That's nice. Uh, playing around with this 97 to to $100 range here. Uh, this thing recently kicked the low. Uh, I expect this thing to kick the low and keep kicking the low and go down even farther because it hasn't done anything significant here yet. Um, swept the lows, better hang on. If it doesn't hang on, it's going to get ugly for Quant. Uh, that's a head and shoulders or a very ugly witch's nose, either way you want to put it. Uh, it doesn't look great. If I go to weekly, you can kind of see it a little better. Structure's broken here. Uh, you could argue that... This is just part of the bullish structure overall. And while it may have a little bit more down left in it, it's not done. Uh, yeah, I would hear your argument. Uh, and at the same time, I would say it's a little bit hopium with everything else going down. Uh, so watch closely. It's definitely not a buy for me right now. I need to see a lot of improvement. Uh, at least a couple good candles here to prove something. Uh, trying to buy the bottom on all these alts is just super risky, man. Whoa, Jack. Uh, all right, so I see why you called this one out. It did crack and break a short-term structure here. See that? Bearish structure broken, so you have a high. Now we need a higher low. We haven't got that yet. We're probably going to get a higher low before you get a whole bunch more up. So don't get out of your... Uh, don't, uh, don't get in your own way here. Could still have a little bit more uh, down in the tank. Yeah, it needs to make a higher low. You only have half of an uptrend here. Uh, if I put the indicators up for you, yeah, you're stuck under the 21. You still need a little bit more up and then, a, and then a retrace to make a higher low. Like I said, it hasn't done that yet. Uh, let's see what we got over oh, here. Yeah. Jesse is big time into baseball show daily. We're going to Atlanta to pick up a navigator back late. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Um, did they say which November? What are you talking about? Uh, or which country's dollar? I have no idea, bro. Well, Jack had a high time frame snipers alley hit and they came back up. Question is rejecting at the 21. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy Monroe. Latin America, all vehicles of public transportation are converted to natural gas. That's pretty damn cool, though, honestly. And you're going to see, I mean, you know, that's, I mean, it's a, it doesn't make great horsepower, but it works. And what do you really need out in Latin America, right? Do you need a ton of horsepower? No, you don't. You need to move people. Um, 
did your kids watch Dumb and Dumber? No, they haven't yet because I don't have both of them with me right now. We won't have both of them until next weekend because we've let them go to the other sides because we're going to have them for so long for Hawaii. Um, we don't want to – okay, it pisses the other sides off when they don't get them before we go out for a long time, right? And since I'm going to be gone for like two weeks in Hawaii, they're not going to be happy if I have them this week and then the two weeks and then the week after that, so – I'm going to make them watch Dumb and Dumber when we come back because I want to watch Dumb and Dumber. The hell with them kids. If they don't like Dumb and Dumber, we're going to have a fight. All right? I'm going to get out the good Nerf gun and light their asses up because that one shoots them little miniature soccer balls, you know, them, that, oh, them little miniature softballs. That little son of a bitch hurts, man. It holds D-cell batteries and shit. That thing will light you up. Uh, Jim Carrey, liar, liar. But I don't know if I can show him liar, liar. But Dumb and Dumber, yeah. Uh, feed them some cat, stupid dude. Alf, yeah. You remember Alf? Damn, educated dummy, bro. Educated dummy. Just dropped 20 bones. We're going to have a shot for educated dummy. I got the larceny out. It's good stuff. Jamie Monroe put it on me. Ooh. I haven't had any whiskey in a while. Let's get it. Man, that shit's good, dude. Who? You just forget a good bourbon. You just forget it. Uh, you know, and then you have to go back and start drinking them again, and that brings back those taste buds and memories start popping back up. And you're like, whoa. Uh -huh. Ace Ventura. Can I show him Ace Ventura? Mm, that's tough because, you know, he has that. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. That's not a bad idea. They're going to be pissed watching all these Jim Carrey movies, man. They're going to be pissed because he ain't the same guy anymore. All right. A couple more that no one mentioned that I want to have a peek at. Let's go to the top assets. Let's look at the dollar index. Holy hell. The dollar index typically runs opposite of risk assets. And by risk assets, I mean Tesla, Apple, Microsoft, Bitcoin, Ethereum, bonds, whatever. Anything that is a risk for you to buy because it might fail, the dollar goes opposite of it. The DXY goes opposite of it. Look at how far this thing's fallen. How far did crypto go up? It didn't. On the other hand, let's look at some indexes real quick. Here is the SPY, the S&P 500. Look at that thing. Erect penis. Beautiful move off of support, off of the uptrend, just out having a run, doing great, doing great. How about the NASDAQ? Doing great. As a matter of fact, honestly, dude, this shit's overextended. It's going to be shorted here. Put options are going to are going to start paying a premium. All right. Um, these longs are going to come in cheap. These calls are going to be coming in cheap. Put options are going to be rolling in expensive soon. Because these market makers aren't stupid and they're not just going to give you the good odds, dude. Dow Jones, slowly catching up. Look at that. Look at the Dow cracking the downtrend. Watch the money flow from the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ and watch it flow over to the Dow. See if that doesn't happen. I'm not saying it's going to come into crypto, uh, but I bet you you see this thing coming to the Dow. Um, Apple, run, run, Rudolph. Look at that shit, dude incredibly parabolic uptrend broke every bit of the downtrend easily broke 2022 highs it's at a new all-time high all right uh 186 cleaning house just cleaning fucking house um let me pull a fib on this and see how much farther does she go dude hell of a run now that fib's blown how about this one Dude, this is going to go way the fuck out. It's going to be like 2025. Oh, okay. I see what's happening here. This is a 2025 run already. Dude. Okay, give me $200 Apple. At least. How about that? $200 Apple. Eventually, $200 Apple. That's going to piss some people off. I don't care. I'm here to help people make money, not help, not be your support person. Support animal, whatever. Saudi oil. 
usually in the summer you see oil prices come back up and you're slowly seeing that work its way in little by little. Microsoft. Ooh, look how close it is to all-time high, y'all. Look at that. It's so close. It touched the all-time high, but it didn't break it yet. Let's give it till next week. Uh, she's super overbought all over the place. Like, dude, it's it's hella overbought. It's hella overbought. Uh, give me an eventual $400 Microsoft in time. These breaches, these highs are going to breach. It's, it's clear that it's going to sweep the high and crack them. It may take a little bit, but it's clear it's going to do it. All right. Um, give it some time. Google. Beautiful bullish structure. Higher highs and higher lows. Higher highs and higher lows. This isn't done. It's probably going to get up back up here to its high. Roughly around 150. It is running into some resistance right now. Okay. It's buttoning into the bottom of these candles. That's going to slow it up. It ain't going to hurry up and go through that. But it will give it some time. eBay. Okay. Currently... I really, really like what I see here because you had a head and shoulders, but look closely. This thing's breaching the right shoulder right here, which is great. That's invalidating that head and shoulders. So you give this some time, this is going to go north more. I know it's an ugly looking structure and I don't care. This is going to go north more. Look at this, dude. Fucking eBay calls, bro. What are eBay calls? I bet they're asshole cheap. Uh, I bet your eBay calls are butthole cheap over on Webull. Uh, that's going to go up more, dude. There's no doubt in my mind that's going up more. Amazon broke the downtrend, got a long road to haul, a long road to hoe, okay? Uh, but 130s, 135 seems fully optimistic or fully realistic. I'm sorry, Tesla. All right, broke the, broke the previous high. Broken the downtrend. You've got a ton of room to go. It hasn't retested the trend line. There is a gap in the chart. I think this one may slow down a little bit first before it makes more run up. Okay? They ain't going nowhere. And as a matter of fact, Tesla's got cheaper. Last one, Facebook. Probably the most surprising one to me was Facebook. I thought this thing would have failed three times by now. Nobody really uses Facebook anymore. Um, like it's meta, first of all. Uh, really, it's all about Facebook Marketplace. That's kind of what's holding it up. Um, you know, it's only a matter of time before some other company comes and gobbles them up, just like they gobbled up Craigslist. Um, but for now, it's still going. Gap to 288, 289, call it 290. We're at 281 right now. Unbelievably, there may be a little bit more up left in the tank here, which is nuts to say. Now, that's been an hour. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate every single person coming on here. We didn't have a ton of people on here. And man, I, you know what? That's all right. Whatever, dude. One day we will. Uh, I imagine when the bull market comes back, we'll have 100 or 200 people on live streams. And that shit's going to be hard to keep up with, fellas. I'm just telling you. It's going to be hard to keep up with. But we'll make it happen. Thank you from me to you. I appreciate every single one of you. From all my moderators and administrators over here, Thank you guys for being here. Thank all of you. I appreciate it every single time I come on here. I appreciate you guys being here with me. I'll see you guys all next week. That'll probably be the last live stream for a little bit. We'll talk about that when we get there because of Hawaii coming up. I'll see you then. I'll leave you with this. Make the best of your todays. The absolute worst of your tomorrows. All right? That means make tomorrow better than the day, the day after that, then the day after that, then the day after that. And lastly... You could have been anywhere in the world. You chose to be here with me. Makes no sense at all to me, but you're here. Thank you, and I appreciate that. Sky's the limit. Y'all be good. Peace.